Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round two of seven here for SCG Indie States. This is Modern Day 2. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, my co-host, Matthew Robert Dow. And Matt, we were walking around. I kind of saw a deck that looked pretty sweet that uh, Mr. Ben Janis was playing. So I thought we'd throw him up on the feature match. And sure enough, here he is. Yeah, he uh, helped us out at the booth yesterday, uh, sorting some cards. He did. So, uh, he did help us out at the booth. We told him we'd put him in a feature match. Uh, might as well get him on now here while he's 0-1. Uh, you know, in case he uh, goes 0-2 and drops here. <laughs> so why not get him on as soon as we could? So Now the interesting thing, and, and it was funny because I guess seeing now as he's on the red-green Tron plane, which uh, is a deck I used to play in the past, uh, when I walked by his table, he had double Leyline of Sanctity out. And I was like, He did. Huh. Against like a storm player, yeah, he cast empty of the warrens and attacked him. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so it was very interesting. Yeah, it it said it said <laughs> it said fifty minutes because I just didn't change it. We were, we were back. So Tron versus Abzan. <laughs> it's the ca the casual O one feature. Don't yeah. worry, guys. It'll it'll still be a good game. We'll still get this going. We had to we had to find a deck we we could feature that wasn't twin twin no we made a promise to Ben Janice we had to keep our promise we do have to keep our promise he Both helped players. out he, he was a nice guy he did came so came yesterday if you ever want a feature match you can come do you can come do medial labor to get one that is true <laughs> sort <laughs> cards <laughs> alphabetically and by color <laughs> if you guys ever come to a nerd rage gaming event and you want to be part of a feature match and you are 0 and 1 and yeah. you think hey i might not have a chance spend 2 hours behind the booth manually sorting cards for us yeah. and uh it's all you'll it get takes. a feature match ben here he's going to take a mulligan alex looks like he's going to keep regardless we still get to see an abzan deck huh oh yeah here it is we've got these rock decks a lot of rock Jund and or Abzan. Yeah. And then just a boatload of twin. Tons of twin. Just so much twin. Uh, that's. I also hate this Tron deck. So. Why do you hate the Tron deck? Oh, I just hate it. I used to play this I deck. I just hate it. Not a lot of burn. I, yeah, I haven't I, seen a lot of burn, thank God. Yeah, there, there hasn't been. It's been really interesting. All right. So I think uh, Ben Janice here has a couple of Tron lands in his hand. Easy to tell since they're disgusting 8th edition white bordered ones. Yeah, that's... Come on, man. Run it back. Get some antiquities ones. Show some class. Here's a windswept teeth from Alex. I imagine this is going to be a turn one Inquisition or a turn one Thoughtseize. Coincidentally, Alex played... Um, who last round? He played at... Uh, ben Rasmussen. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Rasmussen. Jeff Rasmussen. I'm sorry. There's going to be an Inquisition. Alex is going to be at 17 off of uh, shocking this overgrown tomb. He's going to see a hand of Spellskite. Ancient Expedition map. Oblivion Stone. And then two Urza lanes. Now, I don't know what the hell those ones are. Uh, what, since tower, tower? So, two towers. All right. Come on, you don't know your Urza's I, art? I oh, don't know the 8th edition ones, man. Wow, a lot of people uh, really disliking the 01 feature match Man, well, for round two. You make a promise to someone, and you got to keep your I promise. I know, I don't... It, I, He's going to take the expedition map. I think that's the right call here. I agree. He's going to pass back. Ben's going to draw for the turn. He's going to play those towers. Tower number one. Alex is going to play Marsh Flats. He's going to fetch. Probably going to get a Goblet Shrine. He gets a Goblet Shrine. He shocks that. Wow. That's some damage. Wounded himself here. Alex, not on the Death Shadow plan. No. Trying to kill himself as quickly as he can. Uh, here's going to be a Tarmogoyf. Uh, only going to be a 2-3 Tarmogoyf. No, there's an artifact. It's going to be a 3-4 Tarmogoyf. 3-4. Yeah. Sorcery, land, and artifact. Ugh, there's another tower. That's not how you assemble Tron. But ben Janice, he's got two mana here. He's going to cast a spell scythe that we knew about. This blocks Tarmogoyf, you know, for now. Alex draws a Lingering Souls. He doesn't have a third land, I don't think. You know, he's got Maelstrom Pulse, Lingering Souls, and uh, Liliana in his hand. So, a little stuck on mana. 
He's going to play one, and he's going to path to exile that spell skite. So Ben, he's going to go search up. I imagine he's going to get a forest here. So he can cast that Ancient Stirrings. Strong is going to be a 4-5 now, but being able to ca cast Ancient Stirrings, pretty good. Yeah, definitely strong. So there's a attack for 4, but then Ben down to 16. Ancient Stirrings was a card that I really liked. I mean, totally fueled the deck, was able to pull me out of uh, a ton of situations where I either needed to find my Karn, I needed to find a Sundering Titan, or just another card, or even a Worm Coil to put my opponent behind. Maybe it was an Expedition map. I mean, the card's just super good in the deck. There's an Aya Ugin. Here's an Ancient Stirrings. Let's see if Ben can find what he's looking for here. Imagine he's just looking to find some Tron lands here. Does have Oblivion Stone in hand, which is a uh, an answer to this Tarmogoyf, albeit you know not the cheapest answer to a Tarmogoyf. <laughs> really in the tank here. So he's gonna reveal the Worm Coil. Worm here. Coil, it is. He's gonna take that one. going to pass it back. So he didn't play a land there. Which is kind of suspect. It is a little weird. There's the Thoughtseize. Uh -oh. Imagine taking that Worm Coil engine. Yeah, so I wonder if Ben thought like he had played a land in the forest. So. Carpulsen Forest, Eye of Ugin, Worm Coil engine. I believe that was Carpulsen Forest, or was that Landwar Waste? Uh, that's Carpulsen Forest. No, that no, it was Landwar Waste. Foil Landwar Waste. <laughs> so is he on the... What is he splashing the black for? Is he splashing the black for... I don't know, there are no, there are no, uh... Black cards in his deck, so I gotta imagine that's actually just a Carpulsen Forest. But, there's an Oblivion Stone. Down to 11 after the attack from the I think, boys. what is that, a mine? Is that the 8th edition mine? Oh, uh, that is power plant. Oh, God, God, you are oh, terrible so awful. at this. I don't know what they are. I don't, you know... It, How do you not know? Cause have you never played Magic? Never with these 8th edition them? Tron lands. They're disgusting. Why would you use them? <laughs> oh my God, there's another power plant. I Get agree, it out of here, man. But I, had, I remember I had, the old ones. Do you remember mine? Did you ever see mine? I had foil sets. And they're disgusting. They were black borders. They were nuts. Yeah, all right. The black bordered foil, black -bordered foil are, ones are insane. Are fine. But I'm about, I'm about the antiquities ones. You know, no, you're, you're not. Use some white bordered ones. Get some chronicles. I, I guarantee ones, I could. God. I, I, I guarantee I could show you the white bordered ones from antiquities, and you would have no idea what the this. We got a white bordered swamp, man. Just get a beta swamp. Ben's gonna <laughs> scoop it up. He can't handle it. Armagoyf and lingering souls. <laughs> Jeez, go to the. We, you know, we got a whole land box up here. Go to, <laughs> Kons of Tarkir Swamp, for oh, the love of man. God. See, this is what happens. This is why you guys got so mad because we put Ben Janice on, and then now Matt's raging already. There's going to be a riot in chat yesterday. Yeah. All right, so we're going to sideboards. Hit me up with those sideboards. Give me that stuff. You talk right. about Ben. I want to talk about the Abzan deck. All right. Actually, we'll go well, to Ben's. Yeah, you talk about that one. So. I played Tron, so. <clears throat> Ben's sideboard, he's got one Crucible of Worlds. Four Leyline of Sanctity, three Nature's Claims, three Rending Volleys, and four Slaughter Games. So there's the black card that he's splashing. Oh, so he is playing the Slaughter yeah, Games. So okay, slaughter so that's games. the, um, that's a Cedric Phillips package he's playing right there. That's an old package. Man. Rending Volley's interesting. None of these cards seem very good in this matchup. No? No. Um, I guess we could potentially bring in a Crucible of Worlds if we think our opponent is going to have Tectonic Edges. Which sure. We didn't see any there. And he does have a few. Uh, he does. I guess we could. I guess we could get him in the ghost quarter lock. Just ghost quarter him for all his basics. Yeah, there you He's go. Only got four. That's sweet. Uh, but yeah, I don't particularly like anything. Leyline of Sanctity. I don't particularly think is good here. Well, I, I guess we have to remember, like Fulminator Mage is a card still in this format, so the Crucible actually seems pretty decent in some situations. Yeah. Uh, I don't so know. I'm probably just running it back. Spellskite yeah. seems pretty terrible, although. So I probably board those all out. Running.